Um, you mentioned the environmental aspects, and that is becoming a large issue in your industry, which has a, a an interesting situation. Uh, these ships typically use very dirty fuel. On the other hand, they're so efficient that it still is the least polluting mode of transport it is. per unit volume. It is, and actually, uh, I mean, the, the pollution you have is, if you, I would say, the two different kinds. You have the CO2 emissions, that is the greenhouse effect and global warming, uh, and that's, it's a matter of getting the consumption as low as possible. But you also have, of course, the pollution from sulfur and other dangerous uh, substances in coastal areas. And there we pioneered with the, with the Port of L.A. Uh, and, uh, and, and the, um, the Congress people uh, from Los Angeles. Uh, we've, we pioneered as what we call a fuel switch. So we've uh, worked with the engine manufacturers to ensure that the engines can actually also work with something very close to normal diesel. So that doesn't contain sulfur to the same extent. So if you go, if you use that, that fuel when you come close to coastal areas, then you, your pollution actually re reduces to almost the same as a truck or right. basically nothing. So, um, so since we've agreed that uh, or, or pioneered that in, in the U.S., this is actually becoming standard now globally. Yeah. So whenever a vessel gets within 25 uh, nautical miles of a coastline in Europe, right. it has to switch to the low sulfur fuel, yeah. and that will be eff effective from 2015. So I think we, we, we try to work really close with environmental uh, agencies and so on to, to find these solutions because we need, we need to be part of the solution and not part of the problem. Right. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, you're, you're also doing this voluntarily in, uh, what, Hong Kong? In Hong Kong, we, we did it as well. And right. we basically, it will be global standard around the world. So right. it's, a, it's a fantastic development, and I think, you know, People in big cities uh, have to a, a right to clean air, and, and that's, that's just so good.